Hi everybody, Ryan Gibbons of the Gibbons team and I'm here with your July 2018 Bergen County Market Update. Hi, this is Ryan Gibbons of the Gibbons team and I'm here with your Bergen County Market Update for July 2018. We're gonna talk about what's happening right now in the market in Bergen County so you can be an educated buyer or seller if you're looking to be in the market. So we're gonna talk about what happened in June 2018. We're gonna compare it to what's happened in June 2017 and give you a little insight into what's happened and what we think is going to continue to happen for the rest of the summer. So let's take a look at the numbers. We'll come back and we'll give you a little explanation of what we feel is going to be happening for buyers and sellers going through the rest of the summer. So as you can see from the numbers, all of our numbers are a little bit lower than they were in June of 17. Now let's keep in mind, last year we had record low interest rates. So that caused a bit of a boom in the amount of sales that we had around this time last year. So we have to look at more at historical to see that last June was about average from what we've seen over the last couple of years. In comparison to the first half of the year, all of those numbers are better. Our average sales price is a little higher. Our amount of new listings and our amount of under contracts are all a little bit better than they were for the entire first half of the year, as well as our days on market is a little bit lower, which is what we like to see. So what is going to happen through the rest of the summer? Unfortunately for buyers, the amount of inventory and the amount of new homes on the market is not gonna to continue to rise. So through the spring, we see a lot of new homes hit the market and it brings in new houses for sale. We're gonna start seeing a slowdown of that for a few different reasons. One, a lot of sellers try to get their house on the market for the prime spring market. Secondly, we're seeing a lot of people that are on vacation, they're getting out of town, they're heading down the beach, so they're not necessarily looking to put those houses on the market. So we're not gonna to continue to see a rise in the amount of new homes but we also will see a decrease in the amount of new buyers, so that should pretty much level out. So don't be concerned next month when we don't see an increase in the amount of new homes on the market. As I said, the average sales price this time of year tends to be higher than other times of the year. So if you are a seller looking to put your house on the market, there is still time to capitalize on that spring summer market. It is possible to sell your home now and have a family be able to move in for September and be ready for school. So you haven't completely missed the market if you haven't put it on now. So I hope you've enjoyed our market update for this month. If you have any questions, please give me a call. My number is 201-446-8190 or just leave us a message and we'll get back to you. Hope you enjoyed our video today. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.